नमस्ते हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू द टैरो तानवी एंड आई एम तानवी दिस इज माय स्टोरी दिस आर माय टैरो कास्ट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू पुल टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द सीरीज सो प्लीज स्टे विद मी सो देयर इज अ रीजन आई डिड नमस्ते एंड नॉट आई डिड नॉट स्टार्ट विद हेलो टुडे एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ नमस्ते अ लिटिल बिट लाइक नॉट द एंटायर कांसेप्ट ऑफ नमस्ते बट लाइक वी विल गेट इनटू द जस्ट ऑफ इट um very shortly so before we get into that i would like to say that please don't forget to pray for world peace every prayer works in a in a miraculous way and i'm sure like you must have 5 seconds of time free in your entire day please 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 don't forget to pray for world peace we already have a lot of haters in this world and we don't need more hate we don't need more destruction we need more love in this world Runana Bandha is a concept that talks about the fact that our body holds memory. Okay, so it's not just our mind that remembers, but sort of like our body remembers certain places, recognizes certain people. So at the same time, any time you physically interact with somebody or you physically touch, place a situation, an object, your body remembers it. It's not. Uh, this is very different from your genetics. like it it might not be genetical for example you might feel a physical attraction towards specific people it's because of runana bandha because sort of your body remembers and recognizes a person this might not be an emotional attachment but you might just feel a physical attachment to somebody that's called runana bandha now that is why in india most people uh, like it's believed that you should hold your hands and should not shake your hands and hug people it's because uh, they say that every time you touch somebody physically so in this lifetime as well you begin to establish runana bandha with a lot of people and the more people you you establish runana bandha with that's like a that's like a debt okay so you will have to fulfill that uh, debt in the upcoming lifetimes and that sort of weighs heavy on your soul and your physical memory your body's memory and that's why our energy energies can sort of get hampered by external uh, energies and external people can sort of like you know their issues can mingle with our issues and hence we get into this unhealthy attachment with people now runana bandha is uh, the most established when you having sex with somebody so people who have a lot of casual sex um, it sort of becomes unhealthy to their mental health It's also because of this concept called Runana Bandha. I'm not talking about the psycho- psychological factor, but only talking about the Runana Bandha. It's because they begin to establish the highest level of Runana Bandha. That's a physical tie to a specific person, and hence, no matter even like when they break up and move ahead from that person, their body still remembers, and it it becomes very difficult for them to move ahead with their lives, uh, without sort of thinking about that person. So uh, that's why Runana Bandha is a concept. Uh, I don't know if you if you would like to believe in it. It's completely up to you. But in India, like that's why people say that it's always good to say Namaste and not to shake hands or hug people. At the same time, in India, people also say that you should not exchange salt and fruits uh, because that also sort of establishes this Runana Bandha concept that you begin to uh, that there's there's like sort of like a karmic debt. Okay, so we might think that you know when you randomly do charity to somebody, randomly give money to someone, it's like it's like oh yeah you know I'm such a good person and I did this for that person. But we don't realize that our body remembers that in some previous uh, lifetimes or births, somebody might have given us some money or and hence in this world uh, in in this lifetime we are doing the same thing. Of course, the interpretation is completely up to you, but I I found this concept very interesting. The concept of Runana Bandha, that your body has a separate memory. Yeah, so let's pull your cards for today. Let's see what we have. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords talks about a lot of anxiety. It talks about a uh, feeling. stuck but this feeling of feeling stuck is sort of like just a feeling it's not an actual a true interpretation because uh, whenever i get the swords card i always associate it with thoughts so this is just an overthinking so anything that you i don't know i know the, uh, that i that we've been getting the same message 
since the past couple of readings but i guess it seems important if there's any area of your life that feels stuck it's not stuck there are unexpected opportunities coming your way but you'll have to trust that universe has your back and you just need to work on your mental health for now okay so really for now focus on your mental health and things will make its way yeah like really that's that's such a short message that we have because um, yeah because most of your worries are just in your head things are really working out uh, in the back you know in the background universe is really um getting you opportunities just trust that you have if you have been working really hard towards something in particular trust that the universe always has your back and you are getting good opportunities very soon yeah so that's all that i have for you today i hope that this was helpful in some and i will see you again next time bye bye take care